Welcome to Orange County. Behind me is the future location of a brand new neighborhood that will feature 20 single family homes near French Lick. This new housing complex is just one of the many new projects underway to support our growing workforce in the tourism and manufacturing industries. In the next few years, Orange County will add a total of 120 single family and affordable homes to our community. Expanded housing opportunities is just one of the ways Orange County is a great place to call home and we are so proud to be a part of the Indiana Uplands. Hello, we are joining you from Eagle Manufacturing at Brown County High School. These amazing students behind me are gaining real world experiences by manufacturing and selling their own quality products. Each of them specializes in engineering, design, CNC machining, graphics design, and graphics production. To date, Eagle Manufacturing has made products for over 40 customers in our region. Brown County is a proud Indiana Uplands partner, and this program is just one of the ways our schools are ensuring that every student soars. Hello from downtown Washington. Behind me is the future home of what we are calling the Commons. Once completed, this space will become a park and central gathering space featuring an open air plaza and event pavilion, a central lawn, public restrooms, concessions, and a covered parking area for downtown patrons. This project is just one of the ways that we are working to enhance the Indiana Uplands region and develop Davies as an attractive place to live, work, and raise a family. Hello and welcome to my classroom. I'm Emily Johnson and these are my third grade students at Brady Shrum Elementary in Washington County. As a STEM fellow, I help science, technology, engineering, and math come alive for my students. My fellow teachers and I are empowering kids to explore at an early age and equipping them for high opportunity careers as they grow into adults. The Indiana Uplands is on the way up and Washington County is preparing our young people for the STEM jobs of today and tomorrow. Welcome to Humphreys Park in Linton, Indiana. For more than a century, this park has been a vital gathering and recreational space in our community. And this year it's getting even better. Behind me you can see some of our brand new amenities, including these exercise stations. Humphreys Park will also feature two new pickleball courts complete with lighting and a new sand volleyball court. We're excited about these park enhancements and know that they will make Linton and the Indiana Uplands an even better place to live, work, and play. Hello from the Future Center at Owen Valley High School. This innovative multi-use space is preparing for students in the future at Indiana Uplands. We come here to learn about careers, conduct mock interviews, get assistance with job applications, and explore post-secondary options. This is just one of the ways Owen County is connecting us to a multitude of opportunities in the Indiana Uplands. Welcome to Lawrence County and the limestone capital of the world and the home to three U.S. astronauts. Today, I'm joining you from the Gus Grissom Museum in Mitchell. Our county is known for its pioneers in industry and science. And today, Lawrence County is a proud to pioneer exciting workforce and STEM education initiatives. Through programs like the Boys and Girls Club Launching Center, Stonegate Arts and Education Center, Mitchell's Digital Fab Lab, and the North Lawrence Career Center, we are preparing both kids and adults for 21st century jobs in the Indiana Uplands. Hello, we're coming to you from Lion Manufacturing at Lagodi High School. Two years ago, my company, Lockmiller Machine Tool and Design, began a partnership with the school. Students in this program have an authentic work experience. They learn the basics of manufacturing and they produce real products. This program has served as a model for other communities and we could not be prouder of our Indiana Upland students who have used this experience to launch their careers. Welcome to the Banneker Community Center in Bloomington. Originally, this historic building was a school for black students before becoming a community center in 1954. Today, Banneker welcomes a diverse community with a variety of programs for all ages. And this year, we're breathing new life into Banneker. Thanks to grant funding from ROI and others, we've renovated our kitchen and added new furniture and workstations. We have new video projectors, screens, speakers, iPads, and interactive learning tools. We are excited to welcome diversity and inspire the next generation at Banneker, and we are proud to be a part of the Indiana Uplands. Welcome to Crawford County, the southern gateway to the Indiana Uplands region. We are here at the Overlook in Leavenworth, Indiana. The Ohio River behind us is just one of the many ways that we stay connected to our communities and major cities nearby. 
Broadband internet access is another way we are improving our communities. Crawford County is elated that we have been awarded a grant by the state of Indiana's Next Level Broadband Program. Our private-public partnership will connect over 1,000 households and 130 businesses to high-speed fiber. In Crawford County, we are proud to be connected to the Indiana Uplands and will be able to utilize the regional housing strategy to build much-needed capacity. Hello from the Vincent University Jasper campus. Three years ago, Dubois County began a journey of radical collaboration between schools and employers. In partnership with local industry, the Automation and Robotics Academy was developed to build a strong advanced manufacturing pathway for our young people. This work-learn program allows high school students to earn college credits and gain real-world experiences through paid internships. We are proud to prepare our students for exciting careers in the Indiana Uplands.